November 17, 1939. We've successfully collected the lost Enigma machine. No doubt this will allow the Kriegsmarine to continue to operate under the secrecy of its codes. It did come at a cost, however. Sadly, while recovering the Enigma, a lone crew member that was still aboard the U-1056 tragically did not make it. However, his heroic acts to ensure this piece of technology did not end up in Allied hands will never be forgotten. While we should probably start heading back towards our home port, I can't help but feel bothered by the fact that we still have unspent torpedoes that are just itching to strike Allied cargo shipping. I haven't forgotten what our real mission out here is, and that is to ensure that any and all Allied shipping we come across is to be sunk at all costs if possible to ensure the Allied advance is halted. We will continue to patrol around the area and do just that before we set a final course back to Wilhelmshaven. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome back to another episode of U-Boat. And I, you know, this could be part two, I guess, of, uh, you know, the Enigma machine, because technically we haven't still, uh, we still haven't gotten it back yet. As you remember, we ended the last episode right around this area right here when we were tr almost tragically sunk by that uh, plane dropping, I think it was like six or eight depth charges right in front of us, thankfully. Its aim was off, but we managed to shoot it down, and then there was a few patrol PT boats that were actually coming towards our area. No doubt, probably because the plane radioed our position, and they were going to come and try and finish us off. But we uh, recovered the Enigma machine right around this area, just south of this little island right here. Shot up here, and we were going to come shoot through this channel to try and see if we can find any more Allied cargo shipping heading up and around AM-37, and probably, again, linger around here. Since that was halted, however, I did uh, have to back out, and we went up and around the main island up here, and we are back in the area. So, open waters, beautiful hunting grounds, as far as the eye can see. So the plan, as it stands right now, is we're going to go, again, right around the area where we had uh, spotted that last major tanker, and set up the hydrophone, see if we can't find anything worthy, and then if not, I... I'm kind of tempted, again, to go to Oban Harbor and strike at it. However, we do have the Enigma machine on board, so I have to remember that and maybe not be so pushy. If anything, we might come back and linger around uh, Linus Naval Base and see if we can't get any, pick off any cargo shipping or uh, warships that come through here. And then, worst comes to worst, we'll uh, go along the coast of England as we uh, head back to the, our home port over here and uh, see if we can't find anything there. But that's the plan and we're sticking to it. So I'm gonna go get ahead and get in position over here. Set a course, let's go forward three, please. It is 11.50 in the morning. Once I get right around here in AM 379, I'll start hitting up the hydrophone. So if I find anything, you'll know first. I'll be right back, all right? All right, I gotta be honest. Uh, I've been searching around this area for two days now, and I haven't come across a single cargo ship. Now, that means two things. Either the Allies are being super cheeky now and where they're taking their cargo ships, and maybe they're all going south, knowing that there were recent U-boats attacks up here, which would make sense, but they still have to get their supplies up to the north here somewhere. Or I am just on some terrible luck. So... Next plan of action. We are going to go down to where the RAF Dundee and Leith naval ports are, and we are going to do some scouting around this area because there has to be something coming out of Leith. And it's such a small area that these ships have to come out that I actually feel pretty good that we have some really good luck down here. So we are going to go ahead and stop the hydrophone. We've already surfaced the ship. Give our engineer an extra sailor to work with here. Forward five, and when you next see this U-boat, we are going to be in this little channel right here waiting and uh, doing some hydrophone work trying to find the next uh, target for us. So I will be right back as soon as we get to this area. Okay, we are in the area of Lee, so let's go ahead and finally drop down to periscope depth, please. Let's get our man on the hydrophone here. We'll give him an extra sailor, and let's go ahead and cut our engines down to forward one if we can. And let's see what we're dealing with. And here we go. It looks like we have a tiny group, three to six. It looks like they actually just left the port. And they are heading our way. This is going to be a perfect ambush situation right here. Yes! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready. 
we're gonna wait for these guys to come out of this uh, port area, and when you next see us, hopefully it's gonna come right along this coastline. We can set up for a pretty cheeky attack here. We're gonna go forward three, get in the position, and I will be right back. And here we go. We are in a position where they should be coming right at us, and you can see them just over the horizon. That is definitely... Hello. That looks like a destroyer. That looks like an escort. And then we're gonna have the two cargo ships, probably. So, and there we go. It's just coming over. We're gonna reverse a little bit. I think we might be in the direct line and where it's coming. And then we'll uh, see what we're dealing with. But they're getting close. All right, they're getting closer, and well, there's the reason why. It's being uh, escorted. Because we got a tanker on board here, ladies and gentlemen, but this is gonna be our big problem right here. Okay, you know what? Go ahead and lock onto this, shall we? That is looking like ever so slightly a nice little red hue. So it's looking like it's a British ship. So let's go ahead and identify this. This is a tanker. And here it is, another Dale class, which is perfect. I will happily accept having a Dale class tanker. Let's go ahead and start to get velocity. If we can get another one under our belt, that's going to be some serious tonnage that we dropped. If we can hit this as well as its partner behind as well, ooh, that'd be great. I think the big risk we we run right now is the destroyer that is on the outside of this convoy closest to us might spot us if it gets close stop set that is really the only thing I'm worried about but other than that not too bad all right let's go ahead and get a course for these shall we go ahead and mark the front as closely as we can let a little time compression happen Get a second mark here and uh, we'll have its course hopefully it doesn't change as it looks like it's following the coastline here all right, that's gonna be good enough for me. Go ahead and get another mark right at the front, shall we? Mark it, and let's intersect them. Have our course. Beautiful. Get our protractor out. Now it looks like we have a course of 88 degrees. Set it at 88 degrees in a distance. Oh boy. Let's do it the gesture way, shall we? A distance of 4.1 kilometers as it stands right now. 4.1 kilometers and closing. Now let's go ahead and unlock, shall we? From this one and let's start getting the information for its little partner right here. There's the destroyer that we're worried about. Is that another destroyer back there? That's a little PT boat. All right, we got a freighter class here. Let's see what we're dealing with. And that's exactly what it's looking like, is an Empire Tower. With a velocity, it's probably going to be right around the same as 7. A course we know to be 88 degrees. And a distance... 4.2 kilometers. Okay. Now we just wait. Wait for a good ambush. This guy is going to be well past us by the time we send the torpedoes, which is perfect. And then we'll have to send them at the Empire first, or no, excuse me, the Dale class first, and then we'll get the second set heading towards the Empire Tower here. So perfect. I like how this is uh, this is setting up. Isn't this beautiful? It looks like a little piece of art. I love it. Anyways, we're going to wait for him to get a little closer to 90 degrees before we start sending him. Let's see where the Dale class is and how close he is. So he's still pretty far off we're at 30 degrees you need to wait till it gets to zero maybe maybe a little past zero and then we'll uh we'll send those torpedoes so i will be right back as soon as we're ready to get this attack going all right we are nearing the final steps let's go ahead and load oh, one eins. and two Bebesser. really oh, quick zwei. what is Bebesser. the Drought 8.46. Okay, so let's go ahead and get both these torpedoes at a depth of 3.5 meters. Dispersion of. Hmm. We'll do a dispersion of 3 meters. And then 30 knots. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and unlock. 
Here's the Empire Bell. We'll go ahead and do one torpedo for this one. Drought 8.47 as well. No dispersion ready to rock 3.5. We'll do, you know, just to play it safe, we'll do three. And that's beautiful. Love it. Last thing we need to do is just get some final ranges before we send these and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Almost at zero degrees, so the fireworks show is about to happen. Alright, we are ready to rock and roll. Final thing laid in, 3.1 kilometers, 30 knots, 3 meter depth, dispersion at 3 meters, Nose! fire. Let's start this show. Torpedoes away, go ahead and unlock, Empire Bell. Go ahead and get one more final distance for the Empire Bell here. Looking like three kilometers. Go ahead and load. And we are ready to rock. Come on, come on, come on. Load up, load up, load up. And fire. Torpedoes away, torpedoes away. Let's go ahead and start our course. Electric motors, please. Forward one. Let's get out of dodge. Blue lighting enabled. Perfect. We'll clear up all this. And hopefully we're going to have some beautiful impacts here soon. These are looking gorgeous. As you can see, the course in which they are taking right now. Looks like they're lining right up. I think we did a great job, ladies and gentlemen. And we're about ready to see that. And these torpedoes are right on target. Beautiful. It looks like we're going to center punch this thing. Oh, yeah. Split it right in half. Get ready. Yes. Look at the fireworks. Perfect. Oh, and that is done. And we got a hit on this one. Hell yes. Look at that. Simultaneous attack, and this one is taking on a lot of water very fast. This looks like it's going down. Oh, this is beautiful. And there it goes. No sooner could I get to it, it is going down to the bottom of the ocean. I mean, I think it's pretty shallow, too, so it might have actually hit the bottom. What a magnificent attack. I love it. So it doesn't look like we've got the official sinking thing yet, because it's still bobbing over there. We just gotta wait for the official. Come on, Empire, go down. If we have to send in a couple uh, couple rounds to the side, though, I'm not too worried. All right, we are on the run now as we await the official Dale class that is officially sunk. We are just waiting for the Empire to go. We are forward one at a depth of roughly 27 meters. We have 63 meters, 64 meters to play with. So we'll start at this and try and get away and uh, hopefully not get spotted here, but it looks like they're all turning around, so things are about to get interesting. Go ahead and stop all together. And we are being pinged officially. This is not what we wanted to hear. Go ahead, forward one as we are being pinged. Get ready for a 90 degree turn as soon as this is overhead. And then we will drop down a, an additional 20 meters, so we'll probably go down to 50 meters. Yeah, it's got us dead to rights. It is pinging. Pinging hard. Get ready for the depth charges. And there's the depth charges. Hard 90. I say hard 90. Let's go ahead about 7 o'clock, drop down 50 meters. Keep going, keep going. It's buggering on. It keeps doing this little twirly. I don't know what's going on here. Get back in formation, buddy. You don't want any of this. Alright, it appears as though those PT boats have finally moved on. Here's the one that was circling us. It looks like it might be turning around again. 
is worrisome. It's going north. I want to try and surface the boat. Get the guys on the deck gun. Super fast. Sink this remaining ship. And then get the hell out of Dodge. This was, uh... That was awesome. Freaking beautiful strike. Alright, quick, quick, quick. Let's get the deck gun going. Give this guy someone extra. Let's get close. Start pummeling this thing. Get it sunk and over with. Fire on board. That should be it. And where is the... There it is. Off in the distance there. It's too far to be able to do anything right now. Go ahead and load AP really quick. Get one round of AP, if we can, right at the waterline. And finish this off. And there it is, officially sinking. Going down. Perfect. Who is close enough? I don't think any of them are. A little closer here. Slow the boat down to one. It looks like it's just sailors right now. There we go. There's the captains. Bring them aboard. Change direction, please. Go ahead and get these values off to BDU. That was that was beautiful. That was really really awesome. It's 1643. I think what we're going to do is we're going to push out into the ocean here and we're going to continue our journey south. We'll still continue along the coast and then hopefully come across another group before we return back to uh, the Wilhelm's Haven. We have an incoming message from the U1055. Hello, what's going on here? Let's see what we got going on. On my way back to base, heard single propeller from a naval square AN-766, most likely merchant, slow speed, northern course, AN-766. Well, we are right near AN-766, so let's go ahead and get our hydrophone up, shall we? And here we go. We have one propeller noise heading our way. It is 344 currently. We are heading right towards it. Yes. Get ready for a second attack, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is. We have come right up alongside of it. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and raise periscope above the water, please. Looks like they're moving actually pretty fast. Looks like another Empire Tower. Recognize velocity. Let's go ahead and see. Start. Yeah, it's definitely booking it. Probably around 9 to 10 knots here. Here we go. Get ready and stop. Set. Eight knots, wow. Fooled me, because you look like you're going way faster. We already have a good course set up, so get our protractor out here. Roughly at a course of 108 degrees. Worst comes to worst, we'll just surface the ship and uh, take this out with our deck guns, but we are ready and fire. Los! We'll continue to veer off now at an angle in case we need to get nice and close and finish this off with the deck gun, like we said. Torpedo is away though. Forward three. No way, and it just barely missed. Oh, well that's on me. Go ahead and raise the boat here, please. Go forward five. Get ready to man the deck gun, please, gentlemen. No doubt this Empire Bell is going to be doing some hard maneuvers now, and let's finish it. Exactly what we need. We are close to the shore though, however, so we gotta be careful. Thankfully, no guns on the Empire Bell class cargo ship, so nothing, oh, that was a terrible shot. Nothing really to worry about on our end. There we go, fire on board, we are Rocking and rolling right now. Send a few more HE rounds to ensure that fire uh, sustains. And then get back on the AP. Here we go. This is way better for us to try and get some uh, good shots in here. Right at the water line. Let's go ahead and focus the rear. It's amazing how many uh, rounds these ships can take. I'm not already struck by a torpedo. Struck by a torpedo? About one will do. Not struck by a torpedo. Bring the whole arse. You're gonna need it. 
And there it goes, finally sinking. Perfect. Great start, and there's lifeboats nearby. Let's see if we can't find the captain. Mr. Jim Baker and Tim Moore. You are officially prisoners of war. And as such, you shall act accordingly. Radio room, please. Let's get this off to uh, BDU. There we go, another value, 2,500, just before we head back to our port of Wilhelmshaven. Hell yes, that was awesome. We could do more, but let's get this Enigma back home, shall we? I am uh, loving this. What is going on here? I didn't know there was a port here. That's pretty bitchin'. Learn something new every day. And here we are, back at the port of Wilhelmshaven. Love it. November 23rd, 1939. What a beautiful mission that was. Crew acted incredible, did exactly what we needed of them, and uh, we again successfully accomplished a very important and vital mission. Let's see if anyone earned anything nice today. It looks like they're just getting their experience today, but that's okay. They've done incredible work. Hello, Mr. Horst Weber receives Iron Cross second class. Congratulations, sir. And Iron Cross first class. Double congratulations. Give him a bottle of whiskey. Nice cross with the Oak Leaves. We are at 749 of 1280. Not too bad right there. And additional rewards. Gaining the skill, a matter of survival, which is beautiful. Goes right to the engineer officers. We get 200 reputation, 200% reputation, 8,000 for our budget. Enigma recovery done. Skipper, your successful mission to recover sensitive equipment from the sunken U-boat was a crucial victory for the Kriegsmarine. Your quick thinking and skilled execution of the operation ensured that the enemy was unable to gain access to the valuable equipment on board. Your determination to protect our forces from the enemy has been crucial to our success. You have earned the admiration of your peers. Great job, Skipper. Yes. Love it. Look at that. Couldn't ask for anything more. Great bloody work on this crew, as usual, and a short Sunderland aircraft, might I add, that we were able to take out. Bloody beautiful. So total gross tonnage sunk 30,897 tons. Hell yes, look at that. Crew's doing incredible. You have survivors on your ship. Yes, really quick. Let's go ahead and get them off. I brought survivors from the sunken ship. Look at them all. Get them all off. That is more reputation, more renown more for our budget. I think in the next episode what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, new crewmen. I think that's going to be pretty crucial to get as uh, we could certainly use them. Maybe another officer uh, start looking at the research as well because we need that and uh, start making this boat a little better. That would be awesome. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, as fun as that has been, unfortunately, I have to call this the end of the episode, even though I don't want to because I want to continue. I should really do like a live stream of this maybe one day. If you guys like that idea, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of doing like a live stream of U-Boat. I'd love to be able to sit there, chat with everyone. I think that'd be really fun. But until then, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys have enjoyed about the video and what you'd like to see in future episodes coming out. Likewise, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps the channel out, and more importantly, helps the video out and get out there so everybody can see it. For anyone that's new to the channel, if you guys like what you're seeing, if you like the uh, storyline so far and want to see more World War II video games coming out soon, and quite frankly, many other genres of video games coming out soon, please consider subscribing. I'm going to get back at it into the next episode. Until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?